डियर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार वेलकम टू इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वी आर बिगनिंग विथ ए सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो ऑन करेंट वेदर स्टेटस एंड आउटलुक फॉर नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द पास्ट वेदर ड्यूरिंग द वीक एंडिंग एस्टरडे एंड द फोरकास्ट फॉर एंसरिंग टू वीक्स इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन we will be discussing about the significant weather phenomena which has affected india during 4 to 10 june if you remember during this week the remnant of the cyclonic storm nisar moved north eastwards across central and eastern india causing a good amount of rainfall activity over these regions also we had a low pressure area developing over the bay of bengal which is now moving west north westwards across north andhra pradesh and coastal odisha you will be happy to know that advance of monsoon this year has been quite normal and active phase of monsoon is continuing and we will be discussing about how the monsoon has advanced so far into south east and north east india we will also discuss about the rainfall so far which has helped the farmers for the sowing stage of various crops during the monsoon season monsoon so far has been the excess it is 34% above normal we will be discussing about that because of this significant weather systems and activity of monsoon hardly we had any day where temperature was above normal and hence there was no heat wave conditions and finally we will discuss about the forecast and outlook for next two weeks about the rainfall temperature monsoon advance and the possible low pressure systems if you just look at during the past two weeks with this animation of the insert 3d satellite imageries you can find out that how intense was the monsoon onset phase and how it has become very active for the bay of bengal especially and at the same time you will find that there has been the remnants moving from maharashtra across madhya pradesh to east up and bihar as a result causing the rainfall at the same time there is a low pressure area developing over this region and moving towards northwest nevertheless this year we have got very active western disturbances and during the period 8 to 11 for so there was active western disturbances affecting northwest india and causing rainfall as well as thunderstorms squalls and hailstorms etc if you look at the same with respect to the circulation features in the monsoon uh, onset phase you will find that uh, cyclonic circulation developed over the bay of bengal and gradually it moved west north westwards and it caused the advance of monsoon over eastern and northeastern india and also the remaining parts of the peninsula uh, similarly you can find out the progress of the western disturbances over northeast india and also the remnant moving over the central and northeast india now this is the track observed track of the cyclone nisar which was a severe cyclone storm and crossed south of aliwal with a wind speed of 100 110 km per hour gusting to 120 km per hour in the afternoon of thar and thereafter it moved north eastwards causing good amount of rainfall activity over this region then if you just look at um, the low pressure area which held in advance of monsoon over east northeast and south and at the central parts of the country during this past week it was basically because of this low pressure area which developed over this region and you will be happy to know that this low pressure area was predicted by india meteorological department two weeks in advance with indication of this low probability of formation of the low pressure systems and also here it was reiterated in the second week and as a result we could find that extended range forecast of cyclogenesis has helped in recent years to maximize our effort in preparedness towards the low pressure systems including low depressions and cyclones and uh, this is also reflected in terms of the cyclogenesis parameter which is developed with the help of our monsoon climate forecast if you look at the monsoon advance for this year you will find that monsoon has so far advanced into some parts of maharashtra and the south peninsula and the um, some parts of eastern india and entire northeast india the condition is very favorable at present also for the advance of monsoon with the low pressure area over this region what is um, uh, very uh, very 
surprising this year that the monsoon onset for this year has been uh, quite uh, idealistic with development of three vortices in three different phases. One with the low pressure system over Andaman Sea, other one the cyclone over the Arabian Sea and third one the low pressure system over East Central and adjoining Northwest Bay of Bengal. As a result, the entire phase of advance has been active so far and hence we have got an extreme excess rainfall activity in, during this year so far. Daily rainfall during past one week, you will find that almost every day there was good amount of rainfall activity in association with these uh, weather systems and active monsoon advance over the region. So as a result, the country as a whole has 34% above normal during the period 1 to 10 June. And uh, the rainfall is in good phase, rainfall will continue also for the next one week. Now if you just look at the seasonal uh, rainfall so far from 1st June to 10th June, you will find that out of 36 meteorological subdivisions, we have got 14 subdivisions which have got large excess rainfall. This is the deep blue color. And also you will find that we have got 6 meteorological subdivisions where you have got this light blue color that is the excess rainfall, more than 20% above the normal. And um, only 5 subdivisions, especially Lakshadweep, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, Jharkhand, West uh, Uttar Pradesh and Nagaland, Manipur, Gujarat and Tripura have got the deficient rainfall. So therefore, if you just look at, considering the country as a whole, the rainfall distribution so far has been quite uh, normal so far and will be very helpful for sowing state of various crops during this harvest season. If you just look at uh, what was our forecast for this particular week and what happened during this week, the left hand side figure is uh, the forecast rainfall for the period 5 to 11th June. You will find that as for the extended forecast issued on 4th June, we expected that there will be very good rainfall activity during this week with uh, access to large excess rainfall activity over major part of the country, especially the western and central India and some parts of eastern India and also there will be eastern, northeastern states and Odisha, Jharkhand and southern West Bengal will have the normal rainfall activity. And if you just see in the actual rainfall activity in this period, you will find that there is hardly much difference between the forecast and the actual field of rainfall for this particular week. Now, similarly, if you just look at the um, forecast temperature last week and the actual temperature this week, you will find that we predicted that temperature will be below normal, hardly there will be any heat wave conditions. And fortunately, the forecast came true. You will find that the temperature this week has been below normal, especially over the central and eastern part of the country and the heat core zone. As a result, we did not have any heat wave conditions. Uh, rather, we have the below normal maximum temperature conditions for most parts of the country. Now, if we just look at the large scale features which affect the monsoon, that is El Nino, and that is the um, sea surface temperature over the equatorial uh, Pacific, you will find that neutral El Nino condition is prevailing and forecast says that similar condition will continue. It may rather become a weak Nino condition towards second half of the season. Similarly, the other feature, if you just look at them, um, you will find that Indian Ocean Dipole is in the neutral conditions and we are expecting that this neutral condition will continue throughout the season which will be helping the monsoon also. Now, if you just look at the monsoon behavior, during the season itself, monsoon shows various types of variations. One of the important variations is the intra-seasonal variations and with the help of the MMCFS, that is Monsoon Mission Climate Forecast Systems, we have developed some kind of index to measure the intra-seasonal variation of the monsoon rainfall. If you just look at this diagram, you will find that this intra-seasonal variation is indicating that monsoon active zone will gradually shifting towards the north and hence rainfall activity will gradually increase towards the central and adjoining northern India and hence there is possibility of good monsoon advance during next one week. Similarly, if you just look at the medium to then oscillation which is a major factor to influence the monsoon activity, it is also in phase 2 that is equivalent to nearby area of Arabian Sea which is influencing to increase the cross equatorial flow and as the forecast says, it will be moving through phase 3 and phase 4 that is over Bewa Bengal and South China Sea and hence during next two weeks the maiden Julian oscillation will be helpful to strengthen the monsoon conditions and hence good rainfall activity over the country. Now this is the current status as of today if you just look at we have got low pressure area over coastal Andhra Pradesh and adjoining areas of coastal Odisha. Just look at the forecast for next one week you will find that the global forecast system of Minister of Fire Sciences and India Meteorological Department indicates that the current active monsoon condition will continue 
and low pressure systems which is developing, which is lying near this coastal belt, it will be moving inward, and hence the rainfall activity will increase over the central part of the country in adjoining North and Peninsula India. At the same time, towards 19, also we are expecting some kind of cyclone circulation leading to a low pressure area further over North Bay of Bengal. As a result, for the next two weeks, we can expect better rainfall activity. Now, if you just look at the week-wise rainfall which we are uh, uh, expecting, you will find that there could be very good rainfall activity along the west coast and central part of the country and also east and northeastern India, except northwest India. So, therefore, we are not expecting the monsoon progress towards northwest India during the week one. But in the week two, you can find that some parts of northwest India are also getting rainfall, especially up to east Rajasthan and west UP, Uttarakhand, etc. So, therefore, we can expect that for week one, that is the week ending up to 18th June, there can be monsoon progress and good rainfall activity over entire parts of the country except northwest India. But in the week two, we can expect further progress to some parts of northwest India. So, this is the reflection with respect to the normal behavior. You will find that. Above normal rainfall activity is expected over entire parts of the country except the northwest India, especially over the Mount Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and the Adjan Giraj of West UP, Punjab, and Haryana. We can expect the deficient rainfall activity. During week two, however, the deficient rainfall region is decreasing and is limited only to JNK, SV, and some parts of northern parts of Uttarakhand. Now, if you just look at the cyclogenesis, uh, which is being predicted nowadays two weeks in advance. We are expecting that the low pressure area which is moving now across central India, the remnant may emerge into the east central and adjoining northeast Bay of Bengal. And there, as a cyclone circulation, it may cause very intense rainfall activity for Maharashtra and uh, Gujarat. Similarly, we are expecting also another low pressure area around 19th of June over North Bay of Bengal, which will again bring the second spell of monsoon over the country. So, this is the forecast based on our MMCFS model. Now, if you just look at the temperature forecast, you will find that, yes, like previous week, this week also we are expecting the temperature will be below normal over most parts of the country, except West Rajasthan and adjoining regions of Haryana, Punjab, and North Gujarat. Otherwise, the entire week one, that is 12 June to 18 June, we should expect very pleasant atmosphere with normal to below normal temperature over the country. Similarly, if we go to 19th, 25th June, here also, except that Northwest India, especially West Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, and uh, Himachal Pradesh, we are also expecting below normal to normal temperature activity. As usual, in the active monsoon conditions, Tamil Nadu does not get much rainfall. Therefore, you can find that some parts of Tamil Nadu is showing above normal temperature during week one and also week two. Now, if I just summarize, uh, during week one, we can expect the monsoon circulation to be active with well-defined east-west shear zone, uh, which is now located near 18 degree north and expected to move towards the north. <coughs> also, we are expecting one locus area over Bay of Bengal and the remnant circulation over the Arabian Sea. Therefore, we can expect monsoon to be active over northern peninsula and northern central and east India during week one. Excess rainfall, including extremely heavy rainfall on certain occasions, can be expected on the west coast and adjoining into the peninsula, except Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. And also, we can expect heavy rainfall to heavy to very heavy rainfall over central India and adjoining eastern India, while it is likely to be normal or central India and eastern India. Otherwise, the remaining parts of the country, especially northwest India, we are expecting to have the deficient rainfall activity. Look at week two, that is 19 to 25 June. We are expecting that the active monsoon condition in expected week one that will also continue in week two, and hence we can expect good rainfall activity over central part of India and in adjoining eastern part of India, and also we can expect above normal rainfall activity over these regions. Whereas northwest India, especially the west Rajasthan, Punjab, and adjoining parts of Haryana, is expected to have deficient rainfall activity also because the monsoon may not progress to western Rajasthan and adjoining Punjab by this week also. The temperature as a, as a whole, therefore, will be below normal to normal activity over the country as a whole, except Northwest India, especially West Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, where we can have the normal to above normal temperature. So thank you very much for listening to us uh, with patience. I hope 
this new initiative by India Meteorological Department will be helpful to understand the current status of weather and also forecast for the next two weeks. Wish you a very happy day. I hope you will stay safe during this COVID period. We'll try our best to provide you with the next update next week. Thank you. Namaskar.